<laughs> Were you rolling with that? <laughs> Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do sport. Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blocks. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. We gotta be careful. This barn's yeah, gonna fall, so we're gonna have to find a new set. Oh yep. no. This week it's part two of Pike County down right. from Eagle Lake Outfitters. Absolutely. That's right. And our lucky logo this no, week. No, no, not lucky logo. It's the part the sponsor stimulus package. Okay, anyways, it's She Safari. She Safari. That's right. And like they, for the girls. That's right. Well, speaking of for the girls, you yeah. have my hat on. No, I don't. You do. It's a bad boy. Oh, it's good girls it's love pink bad one. boys. It's yeah, my but it's hat. warm. Too bad. <sighs> See how fast? I'm not just as fast. <sighs> wow. Now let's no. join Jeff and Bill Ball as they're down there and. They're, you're starting to see why these guys have been hanging in the stand too long together. Because look at you. Well, you, you got to watch Jeff's face as Bill's talking about after that first morning hunt. Check this one out. It's funny. I'm winded. I think I'm going to change hats now. You got me bothered about that. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And all we've seen all morning is one little We did get some really good footage of a nice bug <laughs> and a squirrel. <laughs> you want to get a new decoy? What? I was thinking about, I was thinking about shooting out. <laughs> Here, huh? Here. Blood here. 
you find it? <laughs> you sucker. <laughs> there he is. He's right here. His head is down under the log. Well, here he is. Finally got him on the ground. Uh, shot was a lot better than we thought. Uh, shot him right behind the shoulder. He only ran about 80 yards. And, uh, yeah, Pike County, Illinois. Hey, Bill. Nice oh buck. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nice job, Bill. That was great. Absolutely. Did you see Jeff's face when he said yeah. this was decoy? He's like. Sort of, sort of looked like you a lot. Hey, you don't want to go anywhere because I'm going to come back? Yeah, former Chicago Cubs, the posse JD. Jody Davis. Jody Davis. Absolutely. He's going to come back, and let's see what he can do down in Pike, shall we? That boy don't need a tree stand. Hey. He could just, hey, oh. He's tall. <laughs> but then again, I guess everybody's tall. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Now what are we doing? We're going to join JD. Let's see if that cubby can, well, close the deal. I have an idea for dinner. I'll make yeah. it, and I'll prepare it right here for you in this trough. Oh, cute. Okay. Probably tastes like most of your cooking. Oh. It's November the 15th. The rut is in full swing. These big bucks are out roaming. We're in a cornfield that was just cut last week. They say there's some big bucks coming into this field checking these does, so uh, hopefully one of them will come by within bow range. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Now, for some more experienced people, this tip may bore you, but the crazy thing is, is we get a lot of questions. Which is better, a bow quiver, attached, or a hip or side quiver? If you learn to practice with the quiver on, you sight in and everything, and what you do is you remove an arrow and shoot, that's not going to give you a problem. However, when you start dealing with more winds up in the tundra or maybe out west, and anything on your bow that can catch the wind will create some issues. But if you practice with your quiver on and your arrows in it, you'll have no issue. If you don't like the idea of a side quiver like this, you can take the side quiver and attach it to your backpack so it sits in here. Or do what we do, take your bow quiver, Put it right in your backpack. Now, on your final stalk, it's there, but going through brush and everything else, going to an area, you have the portability and the compactness of a bow quiver. Whichever way, ooh, makes you quiver. <laughs> that is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week.
key on that one left side, but uh, a trophy anyway, man. Beautiful buck. I would have been glad to take him. Wasn't our day for him, but still early. They're up and cruising. Oh, my gosh, J.D., that was so close. Oh, uh, if, if that buck would have came a little closer, he probably could have hit one out of the park. No, you don't want to go anywhere, because when we come back, we're going to join Bill Curry. As oh. He's up there, or he's down there in Pike County also, and he has some great footage to share, too. The boys from Wisconsin. That's right. The cheeseheads. It's okay, that's what they call them. They wear them like at football games and everything. Welcome, Welcome back. back to the Archer's Choice. It's my turn to say that. You always talk. <sighs> always. Now, we're going to join Bill. And Jess. That's right, two of our yes. from Wisconsin. Yeah. And they are going to, it is a cold, snowy day, which. Miserable, I mean, this, but those guys this, are used to that. This whole fall has been miserable, the weather. Yeah, but they're from Wisconsin. They're used to all that kind of weather. Oh, okay, well then let's just roll the footage. Let's shall we? see. Right. See what happens. We got some snowfall this morning, about an inch of snow. It's our second night in the stand, and we are ready to go. So we're going to get set on here. This was an awesome opportunity. A couple of Wisconsin boys coming down to Illinois, seeing a lot of deer, seeing a lot of big bucks. We were fortunate enough to harvest this big mature doe. Hey, Bill, congratulations on the doe. Way to sit till dark. You know what? That's why we whisper in the stand. You never know what else is going to come out. Now let's join Jeremy from Hoyt. What are you doing? Just looking up. It's November 10th. It's 21 degrees. It's perfect. I'm with Archer's Choice at Eagle Lakes Outfitters in Pike County. Yesterday, five bucks came into camp, so it's getting going really good. And I'm pumped to be here. It's my first morning, so I didn't sleep at all last night, man. I just, man, I can't wait to get out of here in the tree stand. We got a little dough behind us already, so it should be a good morning. Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, there's Are a shooter. You... Don't go Jeremy. anywhere, because when we come back, we're going to see if Jeremy can go ahead and make his that is alpha, alpha max. max. See if Put it down. That's right. Let's see what happens. Don't go we'll anywhere. See. We'll be Jeremy. right back. 
It looks like your hair. Oh, at least I have hair. Yeah. Welcome back. Jeremy, oh, Jeremy, his first white tail buck. Is it gonna happen? Yeah, no, you don't have much movement up there. No, I'll see if it works. Can you see? It's where I shed my antlers every year. shooting distance for a half hour. I don't fly home for six days, man. I'll have to go to Walmart and get a pile of doe tags now. <laughs> oh, dude. It's my first whitetail buck. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it, man. It's November 10th. Pike County, Illinois with Eagle Lakes Outfitters. Hunting with Archer's Choice. First trip out with the Alpha Max, baby. And, uh, shot him at 25 yards out of our stand up the hill and he didn't go 30 yards and tipped over. So, I mean, we haven't even been in the stand for an hour when he came by and it took about a half hour for him to finally give me a shot. And, and uh, it was awesome, man. It was intense. My heart was pounding out my chest for a good 10 minutes. He just stood there for so long, I didn't think it was going to happen. And then he started the turn, and he was heading towards one shooting lane that I had. And when he got in that lane, man, I, I don't know how my heart stayed in my chest, but drew back and let him have it, man. Jeremy, congratulations. Buddy, what a way to go, huh? His first white tail His buck. His first buck. Last year, white he tail. was down there with us. Yep. And he shot a beautiful white tailed doe, and this year he went down and he got a beautiful buck. Congratulations. That's his first white tail, especially yep. out of a tree. Ted team. and That's... Tina, Eagle Lakes Outfitters. We need to thank them. Without so you guys, much. a lot of this wouldn't be possible. Thank you so That's much. That's right. And if you happen to see the She Safari logo, the She Outdoors, log on to archerschoice.com. Fill out, click on the little lucky logo button, not the sponsor stimulant package. Sponsor stimulant. Okay, anyways, lucky logo button. Fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great clothing. Get that out of your mouth. We also appreciate everything you guys have done, and thank you for watching this week's show. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel, right here. On the, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. That hay really tasted bad. <laughs>